One thing that was extremely remarkable that I noticed in the 2014 Olympics was the attitudes of the ski team, the ski and snowboarders. It was just almost bizarre, you know? At the bottom of the run, you would see Team USA kind of hugging and high-fiving with Finland or Sweden or Italy. It didn't matter. They were just relentlessly positive. Everything was positive. You know, one thing that's also ironic about their team is they brought nine sports psychologists with them to the Olympics, and they also had unbelievable success. Uh, one story in particular, we talked about Sage Kotzenberg in this program, and before he attempted his final run, he told his coach, you know what, coach, I'm going to try the Holy Grail. And you want to know what his coach said? He said, go for it. This trick had never been landed in competition, not once. It's a four and a half rotation with a grab. What did he do? He went out there and nailed it and got the first gold for Team USA. You know, you see his teammates celebrate and you see the guys and the girls and it didn't matter, but everything in their head, everything in their mindset was positive. Like I said, relentlessly positive because you know what? They couldn't control the refereeing, the officiating, you know, the scores they were getting. Um, from their perspective. They couldn't control their coach, maybe their teammates or their opponents. So they could control themselves. And the more positive we are with ourselves, the better we're going to do. So I encourage you to learn from their example and be positive, even with the officials, even with your coach and your teammates and the other teams sometimes, because the more positive you are, the more confident you're going to be and the better results you'll get.